Hi, Dan here, and here's another quick tip on goal kicking. Swing through the strike zone. Power is generated by having your hips open as the supporting foot is placed, and quickly closing them as the kick is made. Your kicking foot moves down and through the line of the ball. Goal kicking can be complicated, but you can make it easier by breaking it down to bite-sized pieces. And remember, practice, practice, practice makes perfect. Kia ora Aotearoa, I'm Noa Finau, and today I'm sad and I'm happy. Sad because it's the final episode of the year, but happy because we've got an awesome show for you today. We're going to have a look at some of the highlights of the season. What a year it's been. We've had some fantastic guests in the locker room this year, including... Well, why don't we just show you? The good times rolled with guests from all over Aotearoa. But one of my favourites was the All Black the legend Put Christian Cullen. Together for the Pakakariki Express, Christian Cullen. Come on through, mate. Look at that, still got the skills. Wow. Have a seat, mate. Thanks for joining us. No worries. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, I'm from uh, Pakakariki up uh, the Kepi Coast here, and then come down to Wellington and uh, obviously play for uh, Wellington and the uh, MPC and uh, the Hurricanes. And then made the All Blacks in, in 96. So I think we played 58 tests and 46 tries, I think. So That's a lot of tries. Yeah, it's a few. <laughs> what are your three tips to beating a defender and crossing the line? Uh, yeah, probably for like you and I, because we're not the biggest guys yep. on the rugby field. Um, I never used to try to run over people because you just get, yeah. uh, you get yeah, smashed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think my thing was uh, to try to get around them or obviously, you know, the sidestep. So yeah. So if I'm the defender? Yeah, I mean obviously ball in two hands because once you tuck it, they kind of know you're going to run. Yeah, yeah. So I used to ball in two hands and then as soon as I stepped, I'd tuck it and I'd have to fend. From a former star to two rising woman stars, Amy and Deidre were members of the all-conquering 2012 Fielding High School girls team. There goes one. Oh, nearly. Amy, take it away. Oh, one. <laughs> oh, she just <laughs> pips her at the end. OK, girls, are you ready? I'll show you it's done. Yep. Boom. What you know about oh, that? Sorry, wow. Played 40, won 40, scored 336 tries, 2,061 points for 103 against. Deidre, what do you say to girls that say rugby's smelly and dirty? Well, rugby is a winter sport, so of course you're going to get dirty and smelly. For me personally, getting muddy and stuff was definitely the best part of the game, especially when I was younger. It was fun rolling around in mud. Someone else who likes rolling around on all sorts of things is stuntman and creature artist Luke Holy. Hawker. Luke, welcome to the show. G'day. What, what's going on? Oh, I just had some monster infestation back there I had to take care of. Jeepers, luckily we had you on the show today. Mate, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, I am. I work in the, the, the world of film. I'm an actor. Uh, I make uh, monsters, like uh, orcs. Luke has spent years practicing to look this cool, but check this out. Noah got some moves of his own. <laughs> and remember, guys, we're trained experts. Don't try that at home. But one thing you can try at home is this cool coordination test we did with the golden one. All black, Jeff Wilson. Two metres away from the wall, throw and catch, alternative hands. 30 seconds. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, it's a bad start. Five seconds. And you've got to commentate yourself. Oh, how do you oh, think really? You I'm going, I'm battling, I'm battling. I'm actually counting. I don't know why I'm counting. I should just concentrate on what I'm doing. Good form, though. Yeah, I'm hanging in there, hanging in there. I'll step it up now. I'm just warming up. Warming up. Got right, 10 hands. seconds to go. Got 10 seconds. How am I going here? All right. And time! <sighs> yeah, I'd be disappointed with 34 as well. Let's see how seven-star Tyler Nathan Wong is with the juggling skills. Oh, let's try again. Ready? You Ready. tuck it in. OK, go. You start. 
Hurricanes halfback TJ Perinara took the yeah, microphone and asked the tough he's questions. No Mate, uh, I heard you could have been all black. What happened? Mate, I carved up for Tau on the nines, but then I don't know what happened. My fingers let me down. I didn't expect this, mate, from you, TJ. You're a role model. You shouldn't be asking these questions. Give me that. Wait, take off that prop. Cut, cut the tape. Give, give me that. Sorry. Stick to rugby. <laughs> yep, we had an awesome time with our guests this year. From giant all blacks like Brody Retallick to tiny small blacks like Cardin White. The biggest stars and rising stars all leaving their mark on the locker room. Kia ora, thanks. Off the board. Boom. That's a championship dunk right there. Speaking of champions, You'd expect World Cup winning All Black Richard Kahui to beat Small Blacks, right? Well, when the referee is almost never right, you're in big trouble. Here's what I mean. Could this be the year that All Black Welcome World Cup Cup's hero Richard Kahui finally wins the, the race? Well, the big guy may be organised on the rugby field, but he had some shockers at the start line in Cucks First Kids. And no more, there's a fucking many seagulls are up there. I oh, know, and they look well fed. Look at the ah! It's all right. Oh. Got him right in the eye. I've been, I've been fitted with this heart rate monitor for this. Greg, yeah, Greg's given it to me. It's right, his own little personal. It's exactly what it is. It's a heart rate monitor. And you're good to go. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, you oh. idiot. Oh. What, have you, what have you done? I'm sorry, um. Oh. Uh, with the intros out of the way, it was it's race there. time. <laughs> and away we go with the first Cucks vs. Kids of the season. What he doesn't know is I've fitted him with this top secret controller. I'm hoping to sell it to the All Blacks. I can control his every movement. <laughs> What's going on? What are you doing to me? What's going on here? Nothing. I can't stop him. What's going on? Oh! Stop it, sorry. Oh. Oh. Greg, help! Okay, so the referee is not always right. In fact. He had more than one brilliant idea this season, like his chicken surprise. It's a Clucky's Cook Chock. <laughs> oh, yes. Full of vitamins and nutrients. What, what full of protein. You're supposed to carry it and or eat it, because these are the business. Are we ready? Racers, clutch your Clucky's. On your marks, get set. Ah, ah, ah! And although there was a lot of foul play during the race, Cux finished last again. A poultry effort by the All Black Speedster. Get it? Poultry? I got it. But on with the show. And if it's one thing every All Black knows, it's try, try, and try again. When Cux turned up in his new Fandangle speed suit, things looked promising. Richard, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that this speed suit may be illegal. On your marks, everybody! Get set! Oh, look at that! You look like some sort of black snake! Uh, no, it tastes odd. Oh, what do you call that muscle? Hey, I'm talking to you! Ladies and gentlemen, we are witnessing history. He's never won before. I don't see him losing from here. And that, boys and okay, girls, is what is known as uh, the commentator's curse. Please, because rules are there. rules, uh, even uh, for all Yes! Yes! Yeah, 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 all yeah. the hard work is the body <laughs> Hang on oh. a moment, hang on oh. a moment. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, so heavy. Uh, yes? Oh. Yes? No, oh. I'm sorry. It's illegal. What's Please. illegal? What's nothing wrong with my suit? No, the suit is legal. It's this. Stupid hat. <laughs> Welcome back to the final show of the year, and what a year it's been. We met some awesome small blacks from all over the country and found out that rugby may be what they do, but there's a whole lot more to who they are. Check it out. We travelled Aotearoa to bring you some awesome stories about small blacks doing cool and interesting things. We always travelled in style, and when we got there, we found rising gold star Tien and Costly, bouncing buddies Blake and James, and Patea twins who hate Woo! to lose. But we rolled into 2013 with Olympic BMX silver medalist Sarah Walker, who showed us BMXing is not only fun, but gets you fit. Go figure. My mate Sarah is an awesome BMX rider. In fact, 
She's so awesome, she won an Olympic silver medal in London last year. And now she's a big star and on billboards like this all over New Zealand. So I brought Cam and Jake along because I thought BMXing would be great for rugby. What do you reckon? Well, I think it's uh, got the rough and tumble uh, action of rugby, and if you hit the ground, it's pretty much being like tackled by an All Black, so. <laughs> After some quick pointers from the champ, my two small blacks, Jake and Cam, we're about to find out how hard and how much fun this sport was. What do you have to remember? To keep your pedals level and keep the wheel straight. They did us all proud and got a little fitter at the same time. Yes, my little small blacks, no matter what you do, it's all about attitude. And speaking of attitude, meet rising hip-hop stars Marvel and Quest. They're only 13 years old, but already rocking it like the pros. Why did you get into rap? Actually, because my dad was, uh, he was in a hip-hop group. And every day I used to watch them and he used to put me on the turntables and I used to have a little turn. And yeah, he used to help me write some songs when I was little. And then yeah, I just got, I started loving it, getting into it, and so yeah. Talk me through the process of writing a song. I guess like, uh, what's happening through the world, um, our swag, we, what we wear, what anything, any could anything you could write down. Say, even like grass, sky, gates, garage, anything. Mixed frequencies has only been together for two years, but the transition's been fast from school halls to town halls. Just like this gig in Wellington, where mixed frequencies were rocking the house with their single Breathe. Check it out. But we saved the best for last. Cue the small blacks rap. Yeah, mixed frequencies. Quest and Marvel. Okay. Yeah. Yo, what up, NZ? It's mixed frequencies. We're running for the try line in the summer breeze. Cause if you work hard, you can be like me. So stay tuned on Small Black TV. Oh, yeah, boy, boy. One of my favorite things this year was doing a story about one of my favorite things Not even seafood. So I took my mate Caleb to the beach to hook us up with some kaimwana. But things weren't going so well until my good friend Pity turned up. What's up, boys? You want to go fishing? Oh, hey, Pity. Yeah, we'd love to. So Pity hooked us up with life jackets, and that wasn't all that was going to get hooked today. We just got to let someone know where we are. I'll ring my mate Richie. Where are we going, Pity? We're going that way. We settled up, and Pity got to work on the fish food. It wouldn't be long now. Oh, oh, oh. What? what do you got? Bye, Tom! Oh. Bye, Bye, oh. Go, what's the big one? Pull it in! Pull it in! Hurry up! Oh. Yes! What is it? It's a fish! It's a flounder. How did you catch a flounder? I don't know, mate. Beginner's luck. Wait, can I keep this up? Oh, Noah! I think I see a crayfish. Crumbed or battered? What's that? Crayfish! If it's one thing Noah loves more than flounder, it's crayfish. Now, where is that pesky crustacean? So, do you fish a lot? No, I don't fish a lot, but I love diving. love to spend a bit of time on, uh, on the water, take my boat out. I've got a boat, so go do a lot of diving with my, uh, my mates. I wonder where Noah is. That crayfish must have got him. Noah! Noah! <laughs> ah! I got a crayfish, but it's rubbery. And it talks to me. Get in, let's go home. Let's go and get some fish and chips. My shout. So 2013 was a great year on tour, and I had heaps of fun. I even got to show you what an awesome athlete I was. Okay, maybe I'm not as coordinated as Dan Carter, but the important thing is to look good doing it. And there's only one thing left to see. Noah, over and out. Good work, Noah. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Nice Thank you, guys. Shot rifles. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome back to the final show of the year, and what a year it's been on Ruggerland. The Ruggerbees and Mountain Men went head to head on Rugger Quiz. Clarkster, get it gone. 
Rugged Quiz was always going to be a battle of the wits against the halfwits. Every week, Webb, William, Alice and Rugger took on Power, Robbo, Squat and Evil Barry, who was always dreaming up harebrained schemes that always seemed to backfire. I know how to beat those yellow bellies. <laughs> I have a cunning plan. I would like to warn you that anything you say and do may and will be used against you. It is I, Barry. Clark has unfortunately had some car trouble. <laughs> but no evil plan caused as much chaos as the day Barry turned up the heat. We're going to overheat those rugbies so they can't think straight. H2O is a symbol for what? Water! Shucks! Good call, power! What does a host have to do to get a drink around here? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Crack, it's so hot, I could fry an egg on my eyeball. Uh, it's worked. <laughs> Uh, minus 10 for them. The rugby's are too hot to even think. <laughs> what was that, William? Oh, yeah, whatever. Sounds good to me. 10 points. Let's get out of here before the yellow bellies turn into the yellow puddles. So hot. Is that a big pink fish in the sauna? Normally a lot cooler under pressure, our super host, Clark Clarkson, showed us why he's Ruggerland's biggest Whoa. star. Clarkson. Hi folks and welcome to Rugger Quiz. A star so bright he can be seen from the moon. A man so handsome he once dated his own mirror. The man with all of the questions and most of the answers. The crushingly handsome Clark Clarkson. Yes, welcome to Rugger Quiz where yellow meets green. And one team goes away feeling blue. <laughs> but let's meet the teams! With his signature move, Clark, often heavily medicated, kept the show running at warp 10 speed. My darling Ellis. You are correct! And the Yellow Valley Zoo on the board! Boom! That's three from three, and the Yellow Valleys are out to 20! That's a huge answer! Barry, I'm going to give you something else to choke on. Minus 1,000 points for your team melting the points off the board. I'm Clyde Clarkson. I'll see you all again next week. And so the Yellow Bellies continued to play fair and win, while the Mountain Men of Mulu kept on scheming and cheating. But as we all know, the universe <laughs> always finds a way to get even. Great garters, it's huge. What's huge, boss? I don't see anything, boss. Perhaps no one will notice. Maybe if I tilt my head to the side. G -g 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 I believe what you're trying to say is let's get it gone. Yes, I was, but I couldn't squeeze the words out. <laughs> On with the show. A question number one. How many pimples in a scrum? Rugger, yellow bellies. Clark, there are eight players on each team. Not sure how many pimples, though. Good grief. Is anybody else getting bored with this? It's just a pimple. Everyone gets them. <laughs> And things got worse for Barry and the show when his whole team deserted him. But the universe always finds a way of making everybody friends again. Well, just when you think you've seen it all, this happens! Barry, green air, hang about, yellow bellies? Maybe I was a, a tad harsh before. Why don't we all have a cup of tea and say sorry? And the yellow bellies and green and me share the spoils. We're all mates again, so let's grab that hot cuppa. I'm Clark Larson. Catch you next week. <laughs> That's it. All done. Well, almost. What would the final show be without the bloopers? Yep, even the pros get it wrong sometimes, but not me. See you all again next year. Ka kite. And like Snakey says, stay on side. Noah, over and out.
Well, small blacks, we're going to catch up. Wow. I'm a bit unco, so you're going to have to break it down for me. I'll show you how. Oh, boom! Ah. Kids actually think I'm unco. You're standing with the rock look. Voila! What am I saying again? Eye on the ball. Eye on the ball. 52! <laughs> what the? This, this must be broken, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Today in the locker room, we have the man himself, TJ Perinara. Come on in! Oh, butterfingers, what's going on? Yes, man. Yeah, I'll bring the desert. The desert. <laughs> Hello and welcome to... <laughs> What about one of those laughs where you don't actually make any noise? <laughs> Kanichiwa, on that boy! I don't know why I said boy. <laughs> Pua, today I have the triple XL jersey from which. <laughs> Small black skirt. Couple of questions. Kids show. Kids show. You sure? Yeah, yeah. It's kids show. Easy. Good number though. Thirteen. Ah, nice. Blah blah blah. Hey, hey, come on. I don't know what to do. And here's how it's done. You score a point. <laughs> One take, Dag, bro. One take. And now I'm full back for the super kick. <laughs> yeah. Okay, our first question today is... Uh, how many points? First question is... Uh, on with the show! Let's... No, I forgot my name! Are you ready for another big game day? Because I'm making the lights up as I go! <laughs> I'm ready for another big game day, but right Nicky Chinga Chu Changja. And it's my favorite. <laughs> and hot. Nice work, Tommy. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.